Hello folks, welcome to the channel. This is DoorDash Sucks and um, I have another video coming out in a little while um, but I wanted to do this one because it was a comment that uh, Big Mike from Detroit wanted to have answered. So Mike, uh, I'm going to answer your question here and I wanted to say that, you know, I read all your comments folks on the channel and I try to reply to almost everyone um sometimes they slip through the cracks and i and i don't get to see the comment but forgive me but i'm try i'm i'm pretty active on this channel uh and i'm juggling a whole other couple of jazz on the other side too you know i'm doing so many things but anyways um mike has a really good question here so let's go right at it here um he says and i must have missed this on the last video um, he says, hello, my friend. I have a few important questions for you. Something happened to me twice. I haven't had happen to me the three years I've been dashing. I just can't figure this out twice this week. DoorDash has given me lots of stacked orders as I figured out one is no tip trash order. DoorDash is trying to trick me into taking. I think I'm right. Not sure. He says. Uh, I took two times, I took two times thinking it was a good one, was usually good, but the other twice was, was a $2 order, I declined it, of course, but I can't understand the base pay deal, one order, it was almost four bucks, and the next two, two, two bucks, and it keeps going up and down, my base pay is two fifty. I thought base pay meant it was the lowest you could go it was base it was base so it was like a guarantee that you never go you never go below that if that's true how come it went below the the base pay it was only two bucks somehow i lost 50 cents uh, can anyone help me understand this please if a bit he's he's confused a little uh the video a video on this would be very helpful um, I can't be the only one confused here. No, you're not confused, Mike. Let me tell you what it is. I mean, obviously, am I exactly right about how I'm going to answer this? I'm going to answer it in several different ways because there's several different factors, okay? So talking about stacked orders, number one, stacked orders, there's a few reasons why you would get a driver would get a stacked order, okay? Now, Normally, in a normal economy or whatever you want to call it, there, and you know, excluding the the last two years of the uh, C O V I D, the one niner, you know what I'm talking about, which I can't really talk about here. But uh, excluding that, prior to that, there wasn't that many dashes or delivery people or whatever on different apps. It was a very sparse market. At, at some point, you know, drivers come and go and whatever. Remember, the companies will always try to keep lowballing you. It's their, I mean, it's not their job to do it. It's that that's the way they programmed the algorithms to lowball you on every level. As a matter of fact, Tony Shu admitted in one of his um, interviews, this is, I did a video on this like six months ago or something, where he says that we programmed the algorithm to basically just look at every aspect and every angle. And he said, we covered them all, right? But he didn't tell you what those angles were, right? Because they don't want you knowing that. Number one, in the contract agreement that you sign with them, or the agreement where you accept the job or, you know, signing on to be a so-called partner with them, in the agreement there, there's nowhere in the agreement where it says we have a minimum, uh, or, or a maximum amount or a minimum that we pay you. They, they, it, they kind of vaguely say we have a base pay that we give you, right? But they can make the base pay one cent if they want. I don't think they can go to zero cents because then there'd be big problems. They, they know they can't do that, right? But they have to have some sort of a base pay in there. Now, here's the thing. The base pay is a delivery fee that is being charged to the customer when they order the food, okay? So DoorDash gets paid right up front from the customer, okay? Then 
whatever that base pay is, they will try to lowball the order going out. So the least that people used to think or think that you can get is two to uh, two seventy five. Listen, seven eight years ago or five years ago, they used to give seven dollar base pays. Okay, seven bucks. Now that's not even great because some of the delivery fees that these people are get being charged is 10, 11, 15, even 20, 21 dollar delivery fees. Depends on a lot of factors, right? So, but seven bucks seems decent, right? If you have a like, you know, a seven dollar tip or a more or a ten dollar tip, right? Over the years, DoorDash has reduced that base pay down to basically 225 but here's the thing i've had people come to this channel and report that in las vegas and other places they were getting a dollar 50 base pay and i even heard of it going down to a dollar now doordash santiago posted on some of his videos that he predicted that oh the base pay will go down to one dollar in the future and he's right it's probably going to go down to 25 cents or 10 cents there's no minimum that they have to pay us, folks. It doesn't. There's no re, uh, thing in there that says that. What they, what DoorDash does is give you the least amount of money to make it acceptable for the person who's going to take the order. If you're, and I'm not saying you're stupid, Mike, because you're not. You're very intelligent. We all. I'm saying, but people. And I, we've all done it. I've done it too. We've taken, like, even when I first started, I, I took everything for the first week or two because I didn't know anything about DoorDash. I didn't know how their system worked, and I didn't want to get deactivated because I, I knew that if you, oh, maybe if I don't take these, then they won't send me anymore. That So then what do you think I did? I went on YouTube, and I watched videos on it, and, and I ended up coming across Pedro's videos, but not just his. There was a whole bunch of other channels you know because you want to learn the system you want to know how it works that's basically how it does they don't give you an instruction manual telling you everything because they, they don't want you knowing the secrets that they have because then you can outsmart them but see you can't outsmart the algorithm folks the algorithm is there put in place for every situation it learns your habits it learns what you take what you don't take what you decline how far you're willing to drive there's so many factors, okay? Now, when it comes to stacked orders, what happens is the reason there's several factors why they would give you a stacked order. One of them being is that if they didn't have enough drivers in an, in a given area where they where they're um, you know having deliveries, okay. The other thing is um, if you if there's too many drivers on in an area, they're not going to give stacked orders. Um, they're going to give out single orders because they need to, they, they don't, they give people just enough to keep them on the hook. It's like a fish going after the worm and he wants to grab the worm, right? Always chasing that or a rabbit chasing a carrot or whatever you want to call it. So they'll pay, what they'll do is they'll never pay you what you're worth or what you think you're worth or what you should make. They'll only pay you what they can get away with paying you. So what they do is when a stacked order goes out, they try to pair up a stacked order with an order that may be sitting for quite a while because it's been declined so many times. Or it may be a new order that comes in with no tip on it. So they're going to so it's it's enticing to a point because you might be on an order that's like say a $12 order, right? Go and let's just say 4 miles, right? And then they send you one that says, "Oh, for an additional Three twenty-five, three dollars and twenty-five cents. Okay, we'll um, we'll give you this in it, but this is going an extra four miles. But see what you what you did was you took an order that was an eight miler, but that person got away with not tipping in the order. They get they get their food delivered, and you think, well, I'm making an extra three bucks, so now it's thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, almost fifteen dollars, and you're like, well, that's no big deal. But remember that that got that order is getting dispatched out from the same place that you're picking up the first order, or it could be a stacked order from another restaurant that's only a mile away that they want you to pick up. It's the same thing, but that's even more miles because now you got to drive a mile over there, right? And DoorDash and, and Uber and stuff has, especially DoorDash, has been adding extra miles to people's deli deliveries. You have to really, 
make sure you you're right on the money because they they've been they've been known to add miles, folks. Where it says it might say an additional two, and you're going an extra four miles or five miles. So watch that. Now, the other thing is is that the stacked orders. Um, they'll, they'll send stacked orders out. Like I said, if they don't have enough drivers now on the flip side of this, if you're a guy or a gal who's declining stacked orders all the time, the algorithm learns that you don't want to take stacked orders. So they don't send you them as frequently. Like for instance, in my market, I used to get stacked orders. And it was mostly at lunchtime and sometimes dinner time. Now I'm not seeing them at all. I'm not getting any stacked orders. I'm getting just one for one. And that tells me right there two things. One, that the algorithm has learned that I won't take stacked orders because I'm I know the game is afoot, right? I only take it on face value what, what it is. Cause remember folks, you should be taking these orders, not trying to figure out whether it's a hidden tip or not. Occasionally, yes, you will get ones. You know, you might have one that says nine items. It's at a really good restaurant, right? Say a high end restaurant. And it says six seventy five going four miles, five miles, whatever. Right. If it's a lot of items, it's a high. And then you go in and you see the bills, 110 bucks or 150 or $90 or something. It's a good chance that it's a, that it's a, um, a hidden tip order. A lot of times they'll turn into 18, $20 orders, $15, you know, 675, whatever. Right. That's great. And obviously they are going to try to roll in a no tip order. Now in the case, now getting back to the Getting back to why your money dropped down, Mike, is because there's no, there is no minimum, Mike. There's no minimum that they, that they have to pay you. If they feel like giving you 50 cents and you decide to take it and you're tricked into it, well, that's, I, they, they look at it, well, that, that, you took it and you accepted it and it's your fault. Like I said, they don't have to give us any minimums. They, if they could... They'd pay us one cent, and I wouldn't put it past them in the in the near future for that to happen, because a lot of people will probably only be driving on just tips alone, which is which is terrible. They could they could put one cent in there, send you out with say a seven dollar tip, at seven oh one. I've seen it by the way. Not I haven't seen a base pay at one cent, but I've seen seven oh one. You know, I mean it's it's tricky. It's crazy. This this what they're doing, folks is is um should be to i mean it is illegal in every standard this is like illegal business practice is what they're doing to everyone because like the fact that we're all driving and we're accepting this two dollar thing because see in court they could say well you drive every day and you accept these orders yeah it's because we're a lot of us are desperate we need money so bad that we are we are compromising aren't we but we need to change that, folks. We need to take these people to court, like I said. But doing that can je can jeopardize the fact that you may get deactivated, but then you could also sue them for discrimination and all of that. But right now, people are just trying to survive. So at some point, though, if you are going to bring them to court or whatever, you have to make a decision. Okay, what app do I want to do? Because, like, I'm on Uber Eats. I'm on DoorDash. I'm on Shipped, Instacart. Uh, I'm on Deliver That. I'm on um, Rover. I'm on a whole bunch of different apps, folks, right? And you should have a whole bunch of them in your arsenal if you're going to continue to do gig work. I know, you know, there's a million reasons why we all do it. A lot of people like the freedom of driving and doing their own thing. A lot, a lot of people don't want to work for W-2 jobs because the bosses suck. A lot of you don't want to take the jab in your arm, which you should not. And the mask, putting a mask in your face, you should not be wearing them either. But that's a whole nother talk for another subject, right? But um, there's a million different reasons why we all do it, right? But if you do take these people to court, you know, expect to not work for them anymore or be deactivated. Now, I'm not saying that'll absolutely happen. Because if they do that, then they know there's another lawsuit on the hand for, for discrimination. That's why I like Rideshare Professor's uh, gigrocket.com, gigrocket. Okay, he has a thing on there where if you get deactivated, folks, he can ha send out lawyer papers to these to the companies. It takes it's a 21 day process, something like that. 
And uh, if you're listening, Rideshare Professor, that's a shout out to you. I don't make a dime on anything, folks. I'm only doing it because I looked at his his website. And I mean, if I ever get deactivated, you you damn right, I'm gonna do stuff legally to try to you know fight them. You know what I mean? We have some recourse. Plus, you can also go to the attorney general in your state. Hopefully, he's not corrupt. Okay, so to finalize the um, the stacked order thing, the thing is, folks, here's the deal. Don't take, this is, this is, I'm telling, I'm just suggesting this, Mike, and everyone else listening, don't take stacked orders. They're not worth it. It's been proven time and time again that 90% of them are going to be low tip or no tip orders. And they, are. that's when DoorDash steals the most from the drivers because they can lowball you so low. And that's what they did to you, Mike. You got scammed by DoorDash. Don't take stacked orders no matter what. Only take one-for-ones because you can make a decision based on it right on its face. You know, like, for instance, those $6.75 orders, like a couple of them that I didn't get no hidden tips in them, they were only two milers. So two, four, six, right, is three. To, um, that's a three to one, right? It seems like it's low money, but do about 10 six seventy fives in a row. And if you get one after another and they're only two milers, you're going to make money. I don't mind driving for $6.75 as long as there's a tip in there and it's low miles or it's not. The money always has to be more than the miles, folks. You want two to ones and three to ones and up four to ones, five to ones. I mean, obviously, they're not going to really once in a while. Yes, they'll show you a high, a high order, but it's usually a lot of miles. And some of them could be all base pay where someone has declined continuously and the base pay went up even higher than what they would pay out just to get the order out. They'll, they'll actually do that. So I hope this has answered your question, Mike. Um, if there's any more questions on it, just let me know. Now I'm, I'm not like a super guru either. I'm going from experience. I'm going from what I've learned from other channels, from what I hear, it's some of it's speculation, some of it's fact, but well, I mean, good, really good speculation because I I've done it enough where I know, I know how the, how, what the scam is on this and believe me, the stacked orders are definitely a scam because what, and then one final thing I'll say about it is what should be happening on a, on a legitimate stacked order. If it was legitimate is say you're on an order, it's a $15 order, right? And on its face, say it's not a hidden tip. It's just straight up 15 bucks, $10 tip, $5 base pay. It's going, say, eight miles, seven miles, right? Well, the stacked order that they're giving you is going, it's mostly additional. It's very rare that that stacked order will only be like a half mile up the street, but sometimes it is. And they'll, they'll still try to lowball you. But what it should be, if it's going long distance, should be just about the same, about 15 bucks. So you should be making $30, not, not three, four, five dollars extra for going the same miles and you're only getting 15 on that other one. And then you're getting like six bucks for going eight miles. It, it doesn't see that's how they screw people. So just be careful on this folks. All right. So hopefully Mike, this explained it to you. I hope uh, it works out for you. I'm just telling you, you really, none of you should be taking stacked orders. Don't take them because you know why they do it too? They know you only have a short amount of time to, to, to accept or decline. And a lot of times people, like they look at the money, they're like, well, I'm making 12 bucks here and they're going to add in an extra six. So that'll be 18. And it looks good on its face, but that's where they steal all the money from us folks. And that's why you got screwed on the base pay. There's no guaranteed minimums, Mike. They can, they can give you one cent if they wanted to. But they, but they know people are not going to drive for that. You know what I mean? They just know that people won't. So they have to give you something. And one final thing I'll say. When I used to drive for Chinese restaurants, okay, and Italian restaurants, mostly Chinese, when the guy hired me, this is back, this is like almost 15, 20 years ago. Um, the, the guy hired me, I think I was making seven bucks an hour. 
and I got to keep the the del the delivery fee and tips. So this guy charged three dollar delivery charges, right? When he would send out the orders, and it was local stuff. It wasn't real far. It was only going three, two, three, five miles tops, right? But the delivery charge was three bucks, and the reason they charged the three bucks was to cover the fact that if you don't get a tip, so I would get paid my seven per hour that it was, and then whatever the delivery charges was, I got to keep, and I got to keep tips. So in the end, it was probably like ten, nine to ten dollars an hour I was making. Now that that's okay if you're a busy market and you're getting a lot of orders, but when it's not, it's not right. And what sucks is. DoorDash charges these delivery fees, but we never get to see what that delivery fee is because we don't have that information. The, the customer knows what they paid. That's why I say try to get into a talking situation where you can talk to some of these customers. Most of them, it's always drop off, take a fic picture, and leave. And that's the problem. So there's a communication gap. And th so the customers are in the dark. The, the drivers are in the dock, and that's how we're getting screwed. So hope this helped you guys and gals, and also Mike. And I stay tuned for another video because I'm posting that shortly after this one.